One of the most unique animators of the last 40 years is Bill Plimpton. Renowned for his instantly recognizable animation style and for being able to animate his films with a one-man crew of himself, Plimpton is an incredible voice who continues to push what the medium can do. Watching his animated films is mesmerizing, as he has no boundaries for where he takes his characters and stories. To go over every single one of his films would take an eternity, so I'm going to stick to discussing the highlights. But believe me when I say his entire catalog is worth seeking out. Bill Plimpton is most recognized for his animated shorts, with his Oscar-nominated film, Your Face, being the one that put him on the map. It's a simple concept of a man singing a song while his face changes shape, and what Plimpton accomplishes in those three minutes is remarkable. A more humorous short comes with 25 Ways to Quit Smoking. As the title suggests, Plimpton comes up with funny and outlandish ways for one to stop smoking cigarettes. And yep, these would certainly be effective, though maybe not recommended. He also utilized the educational film as a setup for How to Kiss, which goes in some rather disturbing directions in showing how one should smooch their loved ones. A notable series of shorts Plimpton animated was the dog shorts, starting with Guard Dog. Featuring an overly excitable and imaginative canine, Plimpton comes up with the most out there scenarios, as the pooch spends his days trying to protect his owner from possible threats and falling for other dogs at the park. Plimpton played with his usual trademark style in The Cow Who Wanted to Be a Hamburger. With its bold colors and more basic line work, and through it creates a humorous satire on advertising and its effectiveness. During the 90s, Bill Plimpton was frequently hired to create commercials with his eye-catching animation style, and he creates some extremely memorable ones. One I'm sure many of us are familiar with is this spot he created for Microsoft and Windows 95. Plimpton also animated three clever advertisements for the board game Trivial Pursuit. <clears throat> I'm here to tell you about new Trivial Pursuit card sets. Three sets of cards so you don't have to buy a whole new game. There's like this groovy 60s card set, man, with questions just about the 60s. And you don't have to buy a whole new game, just a new card set. Like the 80s. Who could forget the 80s? Well, I... Uh... And how about those vintage years? You don't have to buy a whole new game. Oh. Trivial Pursuit card sets. Just pick a set you can relate to. And have you ever heard of United Airlines? He animated a commercial for them, too. There's one airline that understands the importance of being there in person. And with faster connections to over 210 U.S. cities, you can be sure we'll get you there. United, it's time to fly. One of the most disturbing spots Plimpton animated was one for MTV, educating about the dangers of acid rain. Environmental-themed spots were common at the time, but he took it in a whole new direction with his usual sense of humor and offbeat visuals. Bill Clinton even got the chance to put his own spin on NBC's Peacock logo. <sighs> Plimpton found himself fans among well-known musicians. He animated the music video for two Weird Al Yankovic songs, TMZ and one of my personal favorites, Don't Download This Song. With their unique brands of humor, Plimpton and Yankovic made for a perfectly matched pair, and it really seems like Plimpton was given the freedom to put a lot of his own touches on these music videos. It's only fitting two of Weird Al's most satirical songs were handed to Plimpton to turn into animated shorts. His most impressive accomplishments come from his feature films, which, like his shorts, he animates almost entirely by himself, and every frame is filled with his unique touch. The two I would like to spotlight are I Married a Strange Person and Cheatin'. 
Both are essentially love stories, but done with Plimpton's warped depiction of romance. These films are widely unpredictable, with some incredible imagery, and they get more absurd the further they go along. Ultimately, these two films become about the dangers of being consumed too much by something. While I Married a Strange Person is about what happens when power corrupts, Cheatin shows what happens when we become obsessed with revenge. If you want to see animated features very different from the norm, these films are absolutely worth seeking out. Honestly, all of Bill Plimpton's films are worth seeing. His official website has an online shop with DVDs on sale, and you can also purchase many of his films on iTunes. He's an incredibly talented animator with ideas unlike any other, and I just scratched the surface with his accomplishments. Bill Plimpton is one of the most important and legendary voices in animation today. See you next time.